Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I received one comment from Sam Nang Norn. Hi Sam Nang and he said how to install solar street light in 3D in Dialux Evo. Okay, so I think he's looking for a street lighting with the solar panels on top of the pole. Okay, Sam Nang, so this is okay so let's go into it all right so for for the tutorial purposes i'm just going to use this one so this is a street light with solar panels on the pole okay so this is very ideal if you want to have an off-grid street lighting solution okay but you cannot have those poles with panels in dialux evo Okay, so this one, this is a parking project and landscaping. So we will replace this one with a street light and solar pole. All right. So before you do that, you need to go first to the street lighting. Here in this street lighting, you need to know the tilting angle of the street light or street, lum street luminaire and also the spacing of the poles and the height of the poles. So how to do that? Let's go and create a simple uh, road lighting. Okay, so right now we have a two-way road and then this is seven meters wide. And then I will just get the photometric file of this fitting. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to use for our calculation. Okay, so I will select this one. So this is suitable for a solar pulse so what I'm going to do is I will just drag and drop and then make sure that you get the value here and I can see that I already achieved the value so I'm going to extend the spacing of the pole okay let's say 20 meters okay and then let's just calculate again and I can see that for 20 meters I can still get the value and it's all okay though uniformity and ti and ui and the candela per square meter so I will just use the 20 meter spacing and the tilting angle is zero and the boom angle let's make this one as five degrees and the the boom length will be 0.5 okay so I hope you can see the boom length now and the tilting angle and when I calculate it again it shows that perfect still workable what if we do a 25 meters spacing okay I think still getting it so the more you maximize the pole spacing the better so I think 25 meters is perfect so once you get this one this information so don't forget 25 meters spacing and then 8 meters height pole and also 5 degree tilt so we will go back now to our building and outdoor planning so what I'm going to do is I will draw uh, use the draw alignment go to your plan view and then use this one and place it here let's start here in this uh, corner and run to up to here and let's just see how many luminaires are we going to use for this one and you can see the orientation of the fitting so we just need to rotate it so go to the rotation and then rotate one more one more there you go and then we will, we will need to space it so how to do that go here in this tab and then type 25 meters there you go now I think we have how many one two three four five six six pieces of street light and if we want to maximize it maximize it more we can press this one so it will be at the end of this area and there you go and if we want to extend more let's see if we can have one piece of there you go one more here perfect and then don't forget the mounting height of this one is 8 meters. So let's change it. 8 meters. And the tilting angle is 5 degree. So let's type 5 degree here. Okay, let's go to the elevation view so we can see the 5 degree tilting of the fitting. Okay, so I think it's 5 degrees now. Is it facing properly? Or we need to make it negative 5 degree here. 
Okay, let's try negative 5. Perfect. I think this is the one. All right. So now we need to get those poles. Okay, let's remove this one now because it's not correct. We need to get a 3D file for a solar pole. Okay, and how to do that is go to the 3D Warehouse SketchUp. So I open now my 3D Warehouse SketchUp and I will search here in the search tab, uh, 3D, sorry, solar pole. Okay. And then go to the models because there are so many here, but go to the models, not the, bar the product. Okay, so we have some solar poles here. Okay, and I think we can try... Yeah, go and search something. Or you can change the a description here saying like street light, solar street light. So maybe we, we will have another option. There you go. I think this is cool, but the, the bracket is too long. Okay, yep. There are so many here. There are twin brackets here. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So we can try maybe this one. I, I like this one. It's very aesthetic. See those uh, solar panels is in curve and it's only one MB. So I'm going to download it now. Okay, so after signing, I can now download it. So I will click this one and then I will choose SketchUp 2019. Anyways, I'm going to use a uh, Pecan Planner to convert it into 3D file. So I'm going to save it in my desktop and then I will open it, show in folder and then right click and open with Pecan Planner. Okay, remind me later. And then I will choose a meter and then I will make this one as maybe 5.8. There you go. And say OK. And now I have my solar pole. And OK, <laughs> this is cool. And then I think I need to remove this one because this is, the, this is not the luminar that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to remove it. So how to remove it is escape. Click on that one, right click, and then um, ungroup. And then click on this panel and delete one more and group oops let me see maybe i remove something here okay that is fine so right escape again right click and then ungroup again and then delete there you go so i don't have street light anymore let's double check use the orbit here perfect and then go to the file and then export uh, geometry and then press this and then press this 3d studio and then label this one as solar pole because i think it's a russian text okay so save and then export and then we can now use it and import in our dialog Civo. so let's go and import it import it so file import furniture file and then i'll go and find it in my desktop there you go and then <gasps> look at that so we can resize this one because the height should be eight meters only so how to do that is just press eight meters or type eight meters and make the size as one and then this one is maybe two only to make it slimmer and see the proportion if it's right or wrong okay sorry the mounting height of the pole is uh uh, the height of the pole is not the mounting height so i need to increase this one so this is maybe eight meet, uh, 10 meters or nine or i can actually use a scale so go to the elevation view on the other side yep and then right click scale and then i can maybe fit it i think this is fine all right, so now we can use now this street light or um, solar poles in our design. Yeah? Okay, so let's go now and arrange it properly. So what I'm going to do is I will place this one on the end part and then I will copy in arrangement. 
So how to do that? It's very easy. Okay, let's re remove this one first. Okay, so I will place this uh, solar pole now. I need to rotate it because I know this is the bracket. Okay, and I need to either move my luminaire because I need to place my pole here at the edge of the padwalk, and then I will move my fittings or the street light. And then right click and move it. And there you go. Wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will use um, copy along the line so I can just copy it easily. All right, so how to do that is click on the pole object, go to the plan view, right click, sorry, not right click, press this copy along the line. And then because I know that the spacing is 25 meters, I can either use this one as a guide and up to here also, or I can count my fittings. So how much or how many are there? I can say one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So just type six here and then apply. There you go. Go to the 3D view. And now I have my lovely, yes, I have my lovely solar pole lights. And then I can now run the calculation for this one and see if it looks good. Okay, so let's, ooh. okay, if it's not matching, I think you need to adjust it uh, individually, yeah, or you can adjust the poles there. So let's go and move it a little or adjust it, edit the line and make it like this. There you go. Okay, if it's still not matching properly, go to the elevation view and see how it looks. So either I will again adjust the height of the pole by clicking it all like this and then um, go to this object tab and change the height into something like uh, 9.5 instead or 9.4. Perfect. And also this one, 9.4. Because it's not part of the copy along the line, that's why it's separated. Okay, so you can adjust it again if it's not placing to the eye. And okay, let's go and calculate and see if, uh, let's see how it looks. Okay, so it looks good and there you go. I think... Where is my driveway? This is the one. It's 14 lakhs and the overall uniformity is very good. It's 0.52. I love it. It looks better and good. Okay, so that is how you do it. And then from there, you can now show it to your client, this 3D pole, uh, 3D solar pole. You can maybe catch those uh, images. So how to do that is just go to the export tab and save new view if you want to show off uh, this 3D solar pole in your lighting design. Yeah, press this one. And yes, you can capture that one going back and forth to that image that you used. And also you can add it in your documentation, in your images. Say for example, you want to add it there. So click on your image and add that lovely solar pole yes in your design and then apply and then when you scroll down though the beautiful solar 3d pole is now included in your um, image there you go all right so that's how easy not so complicated <laughs> on how to do it so that's how you do it um some now all right don't forget go to 3d warehouse get a solar pole 3d and if you have it you can use it on your own just make sure it's a 3d file 3ds file you can convert it using the pecan planner and then because pecan planner is a free software i'm not promoting it but it's a free software and that's the only way you can convert it if you don't have sketchup software okay so that's how you do it and yeah, if you have more questions, just let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe 
and enroll in my Udemy courses and you can try this one, the Deluxe Evo for beginners. Okay, so there are lots here and you can check that one later on. Okay, so see you again on the next video. Bye.